hello hello I shared in my Facebook group um, these uh, can lids that I created a faux rust effect on mostly using um, Seth Apter products and I have been asked by a few people in my group to just show how I did this since then I've also done a tin which I am so happy with I just love it um, and I finally got another tin now when I posted this in another group somebody suggested spinning this around rather than removing it and actually using that as a as a kind of hanging spot so I'm going to do I'm going to do it like this today um, and then hopefully we'll have time to I've got a couple of ideas for decorating these so um, and then I can show you maybe what I would use them for so the first the products that I'm going to be using are um, an eye zinc diamonds um, and this is a kind of brown colour I can never read the um, I think this is black coffee because they're in French <laughs> um, these two pearlies now the pink which is oh I don't know I don't know it's a pink and I use that on this one and then this blue turquoise ocean ocean turquoise this one is in um, you might want to if I can get it to um, I'm not sure lavender Provence but I'm not sure what that is in an English color I'm afraid <laughs> that's the blue okay and I also used um, two ice products this is the black and this is a I think this is no I think this is black tea I think that's the one I used actually it's because I, I did these a few days ago so I've got to try and remember um, and then I also used um, this golden color and on my tin I actually used Indian ink I'm also using a distress collage medium but this is optional um, and also you could use a, um, any matte medium for this and then um, I've used a gold wax on top so any any gold wax or you, again that's an optional an optional thing and I've got two really really scrappy paint brushes you, you don't want to use anything decent for this so I'm going to explain what I've done so this is a tin top obviously it's a pull off one so it's not sharp anyway it's not like a tin opener one if you use one from the I, I wouldn't want to um, even hazard a guess at how you can make sure it's not sharp enough but what I did was I gave it a hammer and I know this is not what this is for you could use any hammer I just used the ones for the letters gave it a good hammer to flatten it out as best as I could and then I used um, sandpaper block and I just gave it a really light sand and also just sanded the edges but like I said I mean I can run my finger around this and it's not sharp at all so do be careful if you're if you're using a sharp edge so um, I'm taking my scrappy paintbrush and the um, diamonds and I'm pretty sure because of what I do you could probably use any color um, I just like the texture of this it's not like a textured paste or any of the textured products that are about um, just probably got too much on there now that's okay because I use it on something else okay so that's the diamonds and I'm going to use the blue pearly now these are suitable for all surfaces and they are permanent when dry so they are a really cool product I'm going to put a bit of blue on here okay so step one is I'm just gonna um, grab a I'm just gonna grab a spatula and mix these in and you can see you get this kind of texture from the diamonds but the color from the pearly and obviously the color from the diamonds kind of mutes the blue okay now 
I'm not going to waste any of that. I'm going to put that on there. And then I'm going to just take my brush, really roughly put this on. I suppose the one drawback of leaving the this on is you don't it's not as easy to hold maybe I don't know no it seems it's easy enough easy enough right once I've got on a fair amount here now what I'm gonna do is because I don't want to waste this I'm gonna leave that there for a minute and what I do is just dab with these with a hard scrappy paintbrush that's what I mean you need a you need a really tatty paintbrush for this. Just dab, dab, dab. And you get that kind of texture, which is very rust-like. And you can build it up to make it thicker in places where you, you want that effect. And what it also does is it takes away some of the pattern from the tin lid. Um, I'm, I'm okay with having the pattern there, but this removes some of it. Okay, so I'm just going to use this spare. Pretty cool. Okay, Ooh. okay. stand that over there. Um, what can I do with this? Oh, I know. I've got a piece of card here. I'm just going to mop some of that up. Not going to waste any. water so I'm just gonna gonna give this a dry okay this is not quite dry it's almost there now um, I, I had the heat gun fairly close at the beginning because it causes a few bubbles and then I lifted it a bit higher to to kind of finish it off it's touch dry but it's not perfectly dry but it's dry enough for this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little golden acrylic and I can never, it's nickel azo gold, I think, how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but any kind of, it's a it's a translucent paint and it's um, it's a kind of, oh, it's a, it's a beautiful colour. It's kind of like, um, well, it is a gold, but it's, it's also very similar to the, to the Seth black tea okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub this in in a few places okay that's probably slightly more than I've used on the other the other ones but not much Now, where some of the bubbles, where it's not dry, some of the bubbles have lifted, but... So, this is what we have at the moment. And again, I'm not going to waste that paint. It's always the way, when you're on camera, you tend to pull out a lot more paint than you actually need. I don't do this when I... I don't do that as much when I'm... When I'm off camera. So, it's Bank Holiday Monday today. It's freezing cold, like an autumn day out there, which is crazy because we it, it started off really sunny this morning. We went shopping really early to get it out of the way. And it's my favourite time to go shopping bank holiday Mondays because nobody goes shopping early in the morning on a bank holiday. So you get the place to yourself. OK, next step. Got to remember. Got to remember. Okay, <laughs> it's the, um, I'm actually going to use this one first. Uh, on, on these, 
um, I used this and I think I used this too. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I was just literally going, oh, a bit of that might be good. I'm going to put a teeny tiny bit there. Um, but it's, I think, you know, the the start of this is basically just using that amazing diamonds along with the along with that pearly is what you need to get this effect okay and I'm now going to use a piece of the this is black it's probably something black but there is only one black with the ice or dark colour oh I think it might be called midnight actually is it midnight or is that one that oh I'm not sure <laughs> right I'm gonna go in And obviously whenever you rust something for real you get a you'll get different amounts of dark in different places i'm just going to go in with this very very awful brush So we've got a slightly different kind of colour again to the to the other two I did, but that's part of the fun <laughs> when you're putting these layers on. You're never quite sure how you're gonna end up, but I'm kind of I'm kind of liking this quite a bit at the moment. Right, so the next step is I'm gonna have to give this a little bit of a dry. I mean, with the other ones, I was I had plenty of time to let them dry in between coats. So this one is obviously being um, it's being done a little bit differently. OK, now what I did with the box and I'm going to do with this as well is I had my distress collage medium. And I really do hate this bottle. I can't wait for the tubs to be back in stock this is it's just it's i suppose it's what you want to use it for for the purposes of this it's terrible <laughs> i can't wait and i'm taking some indian ink so that's even that's going to darken this up even more i'm just going to pop in a couple of drops of indian ink into that gel medium and again i'm using this very very scrappy brush And we've got a kind of grey colour here going on, which is fine. And what I'm going to do is just dab this grey around. Okay, and then I just took my cloth and dabbed it just to lift some of that grey. And you can see... Um, I'm not actually happy with the edges. They're a bit too blue still. So I'm going to put more of this collage medium with the with the Indian ink in. And I want to make this top a bit darker as well. I mean, it will seal it slightly as well, having this, this collage medium over the top. And I've used this kind of collage medium with the inks mixed in a couple of times before different inks so sometimes I've used the it's just a case of building up layers building up layers see what you get see if you like it just give that another little dab around there up there so um, proper grungy proper grungy now um i am gonna spread some of this over here probably still gonna add a lot more <laughs> just to use this up okay so i'm gonna give this another dry 
okay so i mean you can you can see where the golden color is you can still see that pearly underneath obviously the diamonds has given it this amazing texture um and then the um the ice has kind of dulled that down to some extent and we've almost sealed it with the um the collage medium with the indian ink it just gives it that much much darker kind of feel to it than these two if you can see these two i didn't use the indian ink on with this one i have um but that's the beauty of this you can you can go for your different kind of textures now this is still not quite dry but i'm going to add a little bit of wax on here um i've got these two i never know how to pronounce this is it finnabar finnabar fin whatever uh, <laughs> this is really quite cool this wax um on the others i've only used the gold um, I only bought these two colours because they were kind of rust inspired colours. So I've got the gold and the, what's this called? Sage leaf, sage leaves. Okay. I am going to put a tiny bit of this on actually, this one, even though I haven't done it with the others. Okay. Now, I have the smallest amount on my finger and just rub a little tiny bit over the top here and there. This is not giving it too much depth but you can just see a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is go over with the gold and again smaller smallest amount possible because you can add to it but you can't take away okay i'm happy with that grab a clean spatula let's use this up colours in. May as well use it since it's there. That's actually pretty cool. I don't mind that tag at all now. Okay, so that is how I made um, these. Okay, um, probably put this on a little bit thicker. Um, I love the fact that they are different. You know, you don't want to make everything the same. So um, I was asked what I would do with these now that i've made them how would i use them now um i will probably um i picked up these well i didn't pick them up i ordered them online um i got these when i got those waxes um and obviously i you know i tried to coordinate a little bit so what i was thinking is for one of them i would go for one of these butterfly uh, dragonflies I'm not quite sure which size but they do need a little bit of something else they're not they're not very interesting on their own so okay now I'm gonna go for um, this set um, I've got two colours here. This is another pearly. Winter Sky. That's, yeah, I can read that one. And this one is Beautiful Blue. And this is the Diamonds. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do anything too fancy. Not going to do anything too fancy because we've got a base. So I just need to liven this up a little bit. So again, I'm going to go in with my finger. And, you know, like I said, these are all surface all surface so you know we should be I'm gonna just do the a little bit round dragonfly i might need to just grab 
getting a bit hard to see because of the amount of paint on my board. Oops, dragonfly's going for a little wander. Okay, so that's what we have. It's quite interesting. Um, what I'm going to do is go in with the gold wax. like that so I'm gonna dry it right so all of these products that I've used on this should be all surface and permanent when dry okay so I'm going to um, attach him to here um, I'm just gonna grab a couple of things I'll be right back Right, I have um, some uh, craft wire, strong for jewellery it says, um, probably came from Hobbycraft or Amazon and it's kind of a copper colour. So what I'm going to do is just line this up, decide which way I want my dragonfly. Now this could go horribly wrong because I haven't actually done this yet to, to test or anything like that. I'm just going to put this here and oops oh lost it right let's try again and put that down there I'm gonna push a little hole here push a little hole here in between those two wings and can I see them? Yes. You can just about see where they've come through on the other side. All right. I can just see my hole coming through. You have to be extremely careful And this is not something I probably should be doing on camera because I struggle with doing anything like this. So please get an adult to do this for you. It's probably not going to be as straight as I would like. <laughs> it's not at all. I can see straight away. And this wire is so, so thin. You can cut it with scissors. So I'm just going to cut a piece of wire off. I'm going to go into one hole. Put my dragonfly with the wings in between that wire. And then I'm going to thread the wire through the other hole. Like so. You don't have to use these particular dragonflies. Obviously, there are lots of options for creatures or um, bugs, if you prefer, like I do. I'm going to go back through one more time and then pull it as tight as I can and give it a few twists. off um, I would use probably um, either um, glossy accents or um, Gorilla Glue Clear to hold this into place they would be my two gluing options now I'm gonna slightly raise my wings like so you could add a sentiment if you wanted to. And let me just give you a little example of how this could be used. So let's say this was a book cover. You could glue that into place on your book cover. Equally, you could attach it to a tag. You could put the 
um, the wire through the tag also if you wanted to. Um, you could attach it to the top of a tin. Loads and loads of options um, for using these, but you know, I think that's pretty cool. So that's one option for how to use these. Um, if you just give me one minute, I will be back with the second option or the second idea I had. That would actually look pretty cool on there. Um, for the second option, it didn't really work. Right, um, I was going to decoupage over this. This doesn't work. This is kind of a, um, a, a shiny tissue paper. So I'm just going to find something that's not shiny. Okay. Um, this, this paper came from um, some happy mail from Kerry, who is Which Craft Do You Do? Thank you, Kerry. <laughs> I'm just going to plop on a little bit of... A little bit more of this matte medium seems the the last effort didn't work a little bit of paper stuck on there okay i'm gonna okay i don't actually like this to be perfectly honest um it, it, it's probably because of what I'm trying to decoupage onto it. It's, it's too big. Um, so I'm taking that off. Um, I'm, it, that's the second one that I, don't, I didn't like. So I'm just going to just wipe that matte medium in. It's going to be fine. It's not going to affect that at all when it's dry. It will just look like it did before. Um, but this, this idea, this idea is much better actually attaching something to it and like I said you could put a little sentiment on here um, you could put a little piece of um, paper or something underneath it if you wanted to um, yeah just to dull that down a little bit um, to me the dragonfly slightly doesn't quite work with this particular can lid um, but there are things that I can do to that to, to blend that a bit better um, but that's the idea um, I hope you found the video useful. Um, I do recommend these products a lot. I really do love them. The pearlies especially and the ice is amazing. So I will be back soon with, with more of what I should be doing rather than playing with things I shouldn't be doing. But I will see you all soon. Bye.